Hello everyone, welcome to the Glory Room. I'm Prophetess Lou. Hope you all are having a blessed day. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for the word today, Father God. We ask you today, Father God, let this word be a light into our feet, a light into our path. Father God, help us apply this word to our lives, Father God. Every day, Father God, you give us opportunity to learn more. And Father God, we want to learn more. We want to grow in you. And Father God, forgive us if we've been doing anything to stop us from growing. Forgive us if we have been entertaining the enemy in his snares, Father God. Father God, we ask you to bless the ones that are hearing it and bless the ones that are reading it in Jesus' name. Amen. So the memory verse of the week, this is our last day, which is Psalms 1 and 2, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. In his law, he meditates day and night. Verse of the day is Hebrews 5 and 11. There is much more we would like to say about this, but it's difficult to explain, especially since we, since you are spiritually dull and don't seem to listen. Subject growing away from milk christian truths i'm gonna say it and pause behind each one to give you opportunity to say it if you like i am growing i'm not on milk i am strong i'm not blind read time 10 minutes recently i was at a place to get some food and i had a lady who was so rude to me and i was and as i stood there she was so rude fussing and yelling at me i didn't say anything i could remember a time in my life if if that had happened, I would have been just as ugly as she was. I would have gotten rude and argued back, but I didn't. I put my money back in my pocket and I walked away. The moment I told her never mind to what I was going to order, a look came over her face. She knew she was wrong and she didn't apologize. But the look she gave me, because I think she wanted me to fuss and fight back with her. Still, I didn't. And she wasn't expecting that. The enemy wants to pull us out of character to stop our growth. But as we grow in God, some things we won't entertain anymore. We learn to use the tools God gives us and or the spirits that try to pull us out of character. Other people will never see your growth, but God does. Today, we talk about growth. Hebrews 5 and 11. There is much more we would like to talk about, but it is difficult to explain, especially since you are spiritually dull and don't seem to listen. We can't grow if we don't listen. A lot of us are wondering why we haven't grown and we blame God for why we haven't. But the more we think about it, it's growth is on us. If we don't listen to God while he points out the things we need to work on, we won't grow. And that's why the Israelites stayed in the desert for so long, because they wouldn't listen to him. They, they kept Doing the same repeated sin over and over. Verses 12. You have been the believer so long now that you ought to be teaching others. Instead, you need someone to teach you the basis of God's word. You are like babies who need milk and cannot eat solid food. Some of us have been believers for so long that we should know what to do and what not to do but we are too busy being lukewarm christians are compromising to see that these ways are stunting our growth the bible says people that that when we are act when we are like this we need someone else to teach us the mere basic because we haven't grown it says we haven't learned we can't teach anyone anything if we are blinded if we are rebellious he does he goes on to say people that are stuck in this way are, are struck are stuck they are like babies that can't handle solid food the only thing they can handle is being on milk so many of us are still on milk because we allow situations in life to change who we are or continue to stunt our growth when we should be where we see the enemy trying to strike and we dodge his snares but some of us are allowing the same trick to stop us the same problem to change us verse 13 for someone who lives on milk it is in it is still an infant and doesn't know how to do what is right People stuck on milk don't know how to do what's right. Do you remember how you were when you entered your relationship with Christ? Can you see the growth or can you see none of at all? We should be at a stage in life where we know what we should be doing and what we shouldn't. And if we are still struggling, look at our relationship with Christ. Are you reading your word? Are you praying? I'm not talking about a verse a day, keep the devil away. Are you cracking your Bible open and reading it? Are you allowing the Holy Spirit to teach you? It's a difference, friends. Many of us allow our walk to be stunted by things we can't move around. Verse 14, solid milk for those who are mature, who training though through training have the skill to recognize the difference between right and wrong. Solid food is for people skilled with what's happening. They are applying discernment. They are hearing and listening to God. They aren't allowing things and people to stop them from growing. Do you know the difference between right and wrong? Do you see what's blocking your growth? Wherever it is, go to God and ask for the help 
help me, God. I want to hear you and change me to be better. I can't do it without you. This week, we we talked about guard, guarding our hearts. I know things will happen and we will have trauma but that that we are dealing with, but do you allow trauma to stay in us? Do we allow trauma to stay in us? We must allow God to heal us. And a lot of us need a healing. We won't go to the healer because we feel if we get healed, if we take the feeling away, if he takes the feeling away, we won't be able to remember what happened or we won't be able to recognize when someone is treating us wrongly. But every situation must be dealt with at, at a time and by the speed the Lord gives it to us. But we must be ready to forgive. That That's the first step into learning how to deal with trauma. We must be able to and willing to forgive and move on. Psalms 34, 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those crushed in spirit. God is always near when we are brokenhearted because he wants to comfort us. Still, if we aren't willing to be comforted and we have the word Lord change our perspective, we will become bitter. Which allow, If we don't allow God to change our perspective, we become bitter, which allows other spirits to attach themselves to us. As these spirits come in, we are then lost because we don't allow the light of the Lord to change who we are. This brings me to our other topic this week. When we have allowed these spirits in, we haven't allowed what we have been studying in the word to take effect. The Bible tells us not to give a foothold to the devil. Ephesians 4 27, do not give a foothold to the devil. 1 Peter 5 and 8, be strong minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking whom to devour. We must be ready for the enemy because the enemy will sift us out like weed. And a lot of us, a lot of times, his attacks blind us because we haven't used what we read in the word or we haven't read the word at all. God wants us to be mindful of the devil. The word says, be strong, soberly minded and be watchful. He's not just telling us that just to do it. He's telling us that so that we can know what to expect out of the enemy. He means us no good. Our tears don't stop him, nor does the money in our account. The only thing that stops the enemy is prayer and the word of God. Psalm 63 and 1. You, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thrust th- I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you in a dry land without water. What is your relationship with God like? Do you speak to him like, do you speak to him only when necessary or genuinely wait to hear his voice? Some of us get into situations and the first thing we do is retreat. But God wants us to stay and build with him daily. Retreating doesn't help us, but we what we must do is speak to him every day and ask him what would he or what could he help us to work on and no working on something you're struggling with is not easy but it's easier when we do it with christ today we learned about building and maturing through christ and that's not easy sometimes but god wants us on solid milk some of us have been running this race with god for 12 plus years and we still haven't learned anything because we haven't tried to allow god to show us what we need to do but we allow bitterness anger wrath to to stay which causes us to be lost and blind and these ways don't help us in any way they stop our growth with god we must be watchful and mindful of the snares of the enemy because if we don't use discernment we will fall for the same old trick over and over again to be mindful of these things we must read our word we can know we can know we can't know where and when he's coming we must pray at all times and as we read our word more and pray more god will start speaking to us showing us which way to go and how to handle things no god doesn't want us to run from our problems or to be a coward no but we must learn when to approach and when to retreat two wrongs don't make a right so today if you're struggling go to god and allow him to help you stay on solid food and not on not drink milk let's pray Heavenly Father, thank you for teaching us right from wrong. We ask that you give us ears to hear and eyes to see. Lord, we give you our situation and ask you to please guide us and show us the way. And we will listen. Lord, help us not to be looking for revenge, but to look for you. Help us seek you every day. Lord, we are so grateful for what you do in our lives. We ask you to give us the strength to work harder in Jesus' name. Amen. Our reference, First Timothy 4.15, practice these things and merge yourself in them so that all you may see your progress. Hebrews 6 and 1, therefore let us leave the elementary doctrine of Christ and go on to maturity, not laying again a foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith 
towards God. Hebrews 6 and 1. Philippians 1 and 9 is my prayer that your love may abound more and more with knowledge and discernment. Philippians 1 and 9. Further reading Proverbs 2, Daniel 7, Jeremiah 28, and Acts 21. This ends growing away from milk. I pray you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow any platform. Remember to share with family member or friend. If you have time, please go to social media and share this particular podcast. And remember to go to YouTube and like and subscribe. I have over 15,000 subscribers. Would love for you to be one. And remember, every Saturday, we have our overview of everything. This is why this one is 10 minutes. Every seventh day or every Saturday, if you're following um, daily, it will be an overview of what we study throughout the week. Thank you. Be blessed.